sorry, sir. Oh, fine. Oh. 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 Hey, Tigers. What's for lunch? On Monday, Bosco sticks and a bloody chicken sandwich. On Tuesday, chicken quesadilla and the hamburger. On Wednesday, a Salisbury steak with gravy and a corn dog. On Thursday, sweet and sour chicken and a pork rib sandwich. On Friday, deli box PB and J. Hey, it's your birthday. Hey, it's your day. Hey, it's your birthday, so let us celebrate. Hey, it's your birthday. Hey, it's your day. Hey, it's your. Birthdays for this week: Monday, Aiden Miller, Van Lumley. Tuesday, Bella Garcia, Bernice Johnson, Gracie Ray, Emily Goddard. Wednesday, the one, the only, Brandon Anakin, the best student ever. Thursday, Kylie Davidson. Friday, David Bear, Kara Mahan, Kaylee, Kaylee Shelby. Saturday, Kai Allen. And I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Who did the scary ghost invite to his party? Any old friend he could dig up! <laughs> The line between reality and fiction gets blurred when Claire's love story goes viral during a pandemic. Make sure to read this going this book going viral. There are rules for life in a in the bunk. bunk. The most important one, you must never go outside. When Drew starts to feel different from his friends, will they be able to truly see and accept each other? A boy gets caught up in the world of underground dragon battles, a gang war that could tear his family apart. This Ode to Unconditional Love is a new adventure for best friends Stick and Stone who discover the importance of found family and forever friends. Make sure to read Stick and Stone. World War II may be over, but two sisters are far from safe. When a fire traps a small group of teens in the forest, they must find a way out or die. What will happen when a tidy eraser and a messy pencil both want the same piece of paper? A lighthearted story about the joys of imagination and working together. What happens when the dangers of a video game become all too real? When their school is vandalized, students fight back with a project to bring people together rather than drive them apart.
Did you know candy corn was originally called chicken feed? <laughs> Blended is a realistic fiction chapter book that is about a mixed girl. Her mom and her dad got into a big fight and they split up. They both got new spouses, and they do switch days every week at the mall. Um, her name is Isabella. Isabella goes to school and with her two best friends, Heather and Imani. People are racist, and they ended school early. She texted her friend Imani, who um, people were being racist to, but she never texted her back. Read the rest of the book to find out what happens next. You can find this book in the gray section in Mr. Stockton's library. Do you like Greek myths? Then try Apollo's Trials by Rick Riordan. Apollo is thrown into a dumpster by his father Zeus because his son had almost started a war between Roman and Greek demigods. He must now find a way to get his godly power back with the help of his new demigod master, Meg, a daughter of Demeter. He must restore five oracles, including his own, which is now controlled by his mortal enemy, Python. Can he do it? You'll have to find out in Apollo's Trials, The Hidden Oracle. Now you may ask, why should we read this book? See, it has a lot of details that make it easy to picture events in the story and make you keep reading. It also has a lot of cliffhangers that will keep you interested. In the fan, it's in the fan in the fantasy books at the library in the Rick Riordan section. Do you like action? Then you should read The Bad Guys in the Bad Estate Ever by Aaron Blabley. Marmalade is crowned prince. The bad guys find Mr. Snake and try to stop him. Will they stop Marmalade or will he spread darkness around the city? We didn't find out. You should read it because it will give you excitement and a rush of action. Read The Bad Guys in the Bad Estate Ever at your school library. Do you want a good series to read? Then you should read Amulet. It has action. And it will get you thinking what's going to happen in the next book. And if you like graphic novels, then you would like Amulet. So that's why you should read Amulet, because it will get you thinking and you cannot stop reading it.
having all the tools to support students, probably a teacher. Sharpening 150 pencils, probably a teacher. Sorting and organizing all of your books, probably a teacher. Go. Learning all of your students' names before school starts, probably a teacher. Visiting Target, Walmart, and the Dollar Tree 57 times in the month of August, probably a teacher. Sifting through 750 emails, trying to decide what's the most important, you might be a teacher. Forget what it's like to set an alarm, probably a teacher. 